Hey guys, so this is gonna be another how-to video. So I get a lot of people asking me how I do the backgrounds on my layout, you know, the buildings and the mountains and all that stuff that I print out. So I thought I would show you here. I use Google um, Maps, which you have access to, and then I go to Street View and I'm capturing things and printing them out. So here's how I do it. Here we are in uh, Google Maps, and we're going to zoom in to our location here. If I can find it, uh, let's see here. So uh, th we're actually looking kind of south on this thing. Um, and what I'm looking for is some apartment buildings. I think these guys right here, yeah, here we go. Um, if we zoom down, we're gonna, we're gonna use this apartment building, which is actually one of the ones that I use in my, um, in my layout. And over here, you can see there's our line that runs to the right down to Huntington Beach. And we're going to, like I said, we're going to take this apartment building here because I know it's a, it's a good um, fit for showing you how to do this. So click over here, get down to street view. Let's, uh, let's take a look at it here. So yeah, that's our building right there. And so what I'm doing, you can pick any kind of building you want um, or any scene that you want, you know, but you want one that has decent lighting. So like, you know, the sun here is shining in the proper direction. It's lighting up the building. We've got some shadows and stuff like that. There's not a whole bunch of cars in the way and all that kind of crap. And you can kind of move around and, uh, you know, get the proper view right here. Here, like here, this, this car kind of moved forward. So I'm going to go up just a little bit right there. And you can see the car is back there, which is out of our way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just zoom out a little bit and we're going to try to square this building off. So what I'm looking at is this top edge right here and also the vertical lines. So you get a little bit of fisheye um, effect, but not enough to uh, really cause any kind of distortion. But I guess what you're doing is you, you might have to jump around through Street View because sometimes, um, you know, the, 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 the Street View car was a little bit too close or um you know there's stuff in the way um the lighting isn't right but you, you so you know feel free to like pick you know search around you can go anywhere in the world and find any kind of street view you want um that will fit the bill like i said i know this building um is uh, is a good fit because i already used it on my layout before so what i'm doing is um just kind of trying to get these uh vertical lines all lined up uh, the horizontal top of it kind of lined up, I think right about there. And you can see at the screen here um, with Street View, you get this little darkening, right? And so if you close that, it gets it jumps out of Street View. So you want the top of the building to be right around there. So, all right, that's pretty good right there. So then I jump over here, back behind me on my menu. Um, I go to uh, Snipping Tool. Um, if you got Windows 10, you have this. Um, just type in Snipping and you get this little pop-up right here where you can uh, just capture parts of the screen right so what i'm going to do is hit new kind of let that go gray like that and we're going to capture like half of the building here right right up to probably just past these uh little balconies here and we want to make sure we start up here so i catch the top of it and the side right there perfect and uh what did i say right about to there and i'm going to get rid of the curb you can keep the curb if you want i don't know we'll keep the curb because it's pretty good right there um yeah perfect right down the center of that tree there it is and there's our building right and now i'm going to go ahead and save this as an image over on my desktop we we'll just call it capture that's the default all right so now we can get out of all of this and there's my puppy here's our image that we captured i'm going to right click on it i'm going to hit edit again if you have windows you have all of this um so uh and what we're going to do here is just to save on printer ink uh we're going to delete some of this blue sky right because we just want the building and we're going to clean up the edge over here a little bit so uh first thing i do is go to view i'm going to zoom in wrong way zoom in a little bit go back to the home button up here at the top uh, i'm going to start doing a selection tool just a big square and i'm going to come over here and just cut out what i'm doing is highlighting that square right here and i'm just hitting the delete button so i'm just deleting sections of it and you can come over here we'll get rid of some of this uh right up to about there we're going to get rid of the sky here 
we're actually going to get rid of this building right here too. So I'm going to come all the way down here. Get rid of get rid of that. And we'll come back here and clean this up. Let's get the rest of it done up at the top here. So I did a pretty good job right here of uh, going right along the top of the building. And here's where you'll find out if you got it, uh, you know, pretty even uh, when you're cutting all this out. You know, and it doesn't matter if you actually cut into the building a little bit like that. It's not a big deal because when you print this, you're going to cut this out with an exacto blade. So you can always chop some of this. Right. And I think that's our whole building. Right. Yeah. Perfect. We got all that. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. We'll get rid of some of this stuff right here. So come back here. Oop, wrong way. View. Zoom in a little bit more. And then we'll scroll over here. Scroll down. And I know it's like right behind my head here sort of but uh, I'm gonna grab the eraser right here and then I'm gonna make it as big as it can get because that's how big the square gets right there and just start erasing some of this stuff and don't mind the puppy he's all excited I'm just gonna get rid of all of this guy color here and the and again the only reason we're doing this is to uh, save on printer ink because this is all this ink that we don't have to print all this stuff uh, it doesn't have to be perfect. Let's just get the majority of it out Go up over here. Now, here's this building that was on the back. We're going to just get rid of it. So I'm just going to erase some of this window stuff all the way over here. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. You're just getting the majority of it out because um, you're going to clip it out or cut it out when you actually cut the building out. There we go. Get rid of all that, 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 that. Perfect. Now we zoom out, go back and see the whole thing, and there you go. Let's go ahead and save it. I click my save button. There we go. There's our building. Now um, I'm going to go ahead and print it, right? So what I'm going to do is go file, print, print preview, and there you go. Now here's the part where you're going to size this up, right, to see how it looks on your layout, right? You may want to print it in just a real draft quality black and white, you know, just to see if you're getting the right size or whatnot. But um, I use page setup over here, right? So if you click on page setup, um, you know, this is obviously a standard piece of paper. Um, this is how big it's going to be. I kind of want it to be a little bit bigger. So I come down here and I say fit it by two by one, right? And so that i found is pretty good for what i'm using you can use the doorways and we got actually a guy sitting right here so you can kind of print it out and see if it's in scale right but again this is going to be in the background um so you don't have to be perfect as a matter of fact if it's a little bit smaller um it's okay because you know stuff in the background is a little bit smaller so this will print out on two pieces of paper and then we cut it out and then we're going to mount it on foam board right but Here's a little trick, right? The reason I cut it down this way over here on this side is I'm going to go ahead and print this out. I know that this size is good for me. Um, and then I'm going to come back over here. Uh, we'll go over to uh, close print preview and I'm going to rotate it and I'm going to flip it uh, horizontally. So there we get a mirror image here. So now if we go to print preview again, now. Um, we've got the other half of the building and you can marry these two up over here on this end and you've basically just made an entire apartment building that you can put on your background so like i said once this prints um, you cut it out glue it to some uh, foam board um, cut the foam board you know to kind of match and, and you know you can always trim stuff out at that point if you you know want to get rid of the curb down here or something like that um, and mount it on your railroad and instant background building as I hope you like that I know it's a quick video but uh, I had some requests asking about how I do this so um, that's how I do buildings right um, and you can do street scenes um, it's sort of the same process and we'll just kind of jump over here we'll go move around in uh, Google Street View right here um, you kind of find a find a little street scene like this uh, you can zoom in, zoom out, um, and if you like that, you do the snipping tool, grab this, and uh, print it out. Same way, easy peasy kind of thing. So again, guys, hope you like that. Um, if you did and it's hot, found you, you found it helpful, let me know in the comments and uh, hit the like button. And uh, 
If you're new to the channel, subscribe for more videos like this, how to, along with my operations videos and my layout update. Till next time, take care. Bye.